to another episode of Our, Our Family, Family Plays, Plays Games. Games. Boom! <laughs> yeah, the dynamite is happening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We are so happy to be here for mm -hmm. another week because this past week we have been in a deep Freeze. Deep freeze, family. Yes. Deep freeze. Oh. Negative temperatures. Negative. Snow all over the place. No. Oh, I have friends uh. who have been in Omaha for 50 years, <laughs> and they said they've never seen nothing like this. It's, it's been amazing. Ooh, I mean, snow all over. Um, yeah. Mm. We've been totally surprised. Now, we're not surprised by snow. No, we no, get no. snow every no, year. No, 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 no. And we've been in Seattle. Yeah. And we've been in Seattle. Seattle. There's yeah. snow there. Yeah. And we've been here for several years. Yes. So we're used to snow, but just several days of negative negative so frigid you don't even want to go outside you don't want to go outside no yeah i, I don't know see go i was outside. forced several times to go outside <laughs> I don't go out. I see on him. assignment <laughs> from my lovely wife sending me out we okay. need this right, i'm well, like see, this, what this makes sense okay what i work from home mm -hmm. mick works outside of the home yes so if you're already outside of the home why shouldn't you be the one go to the grocery store but on, because but on some of those days I didn't have to go in because my office was closed but I still had to go out and you told me to go out into the wintry tundra and I was freezing family I was freezing but I had to go yeah, but you like to, to go, go out you what? You, you like uh, bundling up and going out and so yes you do and so normally I just say hey Mick can you pick this up on your way home since you're already out it doesn't make sense to take another car out you know my car is nice and snug in the garage it doesn't have to come out since yours haven't even already, been dug out you're I, still up in I there I don't think I've driven my car since no yeah <laughs> <laughs> since we got back from Seattle the I garage is not even, you know I haven't even driven my car you haven't come I mean, out of the garage but yet. we you go, we go in out. your car, so everything's yes. good. But it has been freezing. I don't even want to go out. I, I, I just go to the door and I open it. I look at it and I come back inside. I look out the windows. It's it's been cold. I love snow. I, I, I like cold. Well, you said you want the snow around Christmas. Well, I was well, getting yeah, to that point yeah, yeah. that after Christmas. I don't want snow. Oh no, it's snow coming. <laughs> but we got it anyway. We got it, and we're gonna get more. What? But you know, you know what? It's cool. I'm, I'm grateful. Yes. You know, I'm sure that the snow is gonna help the crops here in Nebraska at yeah. some point. Yeah. And time. the water, because yeah, you know, we the were water, because so we were a little dry. Yeah. So yeah. we just gotta live through it. You know, buckle down, stay warm. You know, drink hot chocolate and coffee. That's what and I do. No, fine. I do tea. You I do love tea. my tea and yes. coffee. Tea and coffee. And so you know, we do yeah. that, and we'll be fine. But that's what's going on here in the Midwest. So, I mean, what's happening in the hobby? Well, what's happening in the hobby let me get my, my, my stuff here <laughs> all right what's happening is that we have some sad sad news okay sad news mm -hmm. and it's from board game wire mm -hmm. funko mm -hmm. that bought out uh prospero hall mm -hmm. games that made the great game uh pan am which is not getting a lot of love mm -hmm. and it is a wonderful yes. game funko just sold its board game assets and that company mm -hmm. that they just got to a Netherlands headquartered Goliath. Okay. They're, they're a game company from out of uh, Netherlands. Now, what we just heard is that none of the current Prospero Hall game developers and designers mm -hmm. have, have not been offered positions with mm. Goliath. Oh, wow. And we just heard also, you know, through the grapevine and through, you know, social media that some of those uh, developers and designers were laid off. Mm. And you know, one was a, a friend of ours, mm -hmm. and they were laid off. And and I just hope that they you know land on some great jobs because yeah. I think they are. You know, because what they mm -hmm. say, you know, if one door closes, another one another will one open. Opens, and I yeah. hope it's a good one that opens for them because they mm -hmm. made some really really fun games. Yes. And one of them was Pan Am that is still in our collection and we love. So good luck to them. Mm -hmm. And it's just you know sad to see Funko you know kind of got bought out. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 the mm -hmm. sad news. But then I got some more crazy news. Okay. Now, counterfeiters, now we know that there have been counterfeiters yep. in the board game industry. You know, they'll do wingspan, they'll send out some crazy mm -hmm. wingspans mm -hmm. and some other games. Well, this one game that's not even out yet, mm -hmm. that was still in, you know, a Kickstarter campaign, it was getting counterfeited. Oh, wow. Immediately, yeah. Counter, they're getting fast. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, publisher Wonderbow mm -hmm. has a game called Kelp that okay. everybody's excited mm -hmm. about. Now, it's, it was, it's crowdfunding was almost totaling $1.5 million. Wow. Now, the delivery date is October 2024. Mm -hmm. They, you know, Kelp was already on Amazon mm -hmm. already. Right. 
but that wasn't the game kelp. It was oh, counterfeit. It was a counterfeit kelp. Yes. And the oh. publisher said by the time they were looking, it was 12 listings up there. Oh my goodness. And some folk bought bought it. Oh wow. I don't think they did the research and saw that it was still mm -hmm. on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And it's not Kickstarter takes a while. I mean, they still yeah, got to get through things. A lot of people, you know, they see, well, if it's on Amazon, it oh, must be okay. It must be for real, it yeah. Okay. You know, it's Amazon. It's Amazon, yeah. yeah. but no, mm -hmm. no. And they said one of the listings already had 400 plus sales. Wow. Yes, 400 mm. plus sales, family. Well, that's sad because yes. they're not going to get the right game. And then, that's sad. you know, uh, the company said, Wonder Bros said that they had to fight to get the illegal postings down, but more sprung up. It was like almost like whack-a-mole. They kill one and then another spring up. Oh man! It was crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they're still trying to work with Amazon mm -hmm. and also trying to you know work with you know Kickstarter mm -hmm. trying mm -hmm. to you know kind of slow this down and yeah. stop it. But what was really crazy? They had people who bought the fake games contacting them saying, "Uh, I'm missing some pieces." <laughs> Oh my God! One person well, because they thought it was from the real company. Yeah, yeah, yeah and and they and, and I feel sorry for them. Me too. I you really know, but do. do your research, family. Mm. Do your research. Mm. Now, one person said, "Well, I don't have the rule book. You mm. know, everything looks nice, but I don't have a rule book. Can I get the rule book? Rule book, mm. rule book haven't been completed yet. Oh my gosh! You know, yeah. and then another person, you know, there's a little yeah. shark in there. Yeah, and it was a Lego shark. Oh my God! So yeah. So yeah, it's some issues. So hopefully, again, family, do your research, see what's going on before you start yeah. buying some of these games and see what's up, because it might be a counterfeit. I, I don't mean to laugh, because I know that's sad. That's but sad. I, I'm just imagining in my head a group of people put together Lego sharks No, it, yeah, yeah, it was a Lego shark. They're like, what, what is this? <laughs> Where they gonna get a Lego shark well, from? I mean, so yeah, I mean that was creative. That's, that's creative, and then you know, you know, sometimes you'll get like crazy things. Like one game will have different parts from mm -hmm. different other games. It's, oh my goodness, it's it's crazy. Wow. So yeah, just be careful out there. Really? Just be careful, be family. Careful. Be careful. We don't want you to get caught up. We don't yeah. want you to. Get, and if you did get caught up, what would you do about it? You know, mm -hmm. let us know, family. Send it let back us to know. Amazon. Yes. That, so that's all I have was okay. happening. You know, I, I'm gonna come with better news next time, family. <laughs> Well, you yeah. know what? This week, we're going to be talking about three dice games. Yes. You should know. Yes, you should know three and dice play. Games. Yes. 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 But before we get into all that good stuff, yes. let's hear a word from one of our awesome sponsors, yes. Lucky Duck Games. Here we go. Welcome to the Lucky Duck Games universe. The creators of Chronicles of Crime and Destinies and publisher of Oros, My Shelfie, Namalia, Flamecraft, and much, much more. Lucky Duck Games offers hours of fun and entertainment for you, your family, and friends. The variety of games, upgrades, and accessories under their banner is unparalleled. So are you feeling lucky? Be sure to check out their entire catalog at LuckyDuckGames.com. All right, we are at the heart of the episode. Yes. Three dice games you should know. Yes, you should know and play. Yes, and play. Yes, play. And one of the games on our list was the inspiration for what I'm wearing today. What it is? What yes. is it? Uh, uh, we'll have to talk oh, about I, I the can't. List. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to kick it all off yes. with the first one on our list, which is Dice of Crowns. Look how little it is, yes. family. And it's that's so from, little. It is from Thing 12 yes. Games. Yes. Two to six players. Yes. And it is all about rolling dice. Yes, it's all about rolling dice, and it's a really, mm -hmm. it's a really small package. Yeah. And you know, look, you know, hey, little nice, rules. nice uh, rules. Yeah, you it's know. very nicely done, but it's nicely all done. small. It's all and small. Compact. You yeah. can put it in your purse yes. or your pocket or your backpack, carry it with you. And I was surprised because I didn't get a chance to play this game until we went to OrcaCon. Yes. But Mick got a chance to play it when we went to KublaCon yes, last I played it year. Yes, several times and yes. loved it. And you loved told it. me how fun it was. Yes. And so I finally got a chance to play it with uh, Sean from Thing 12. Yes. You know, and it was so much fun. You're just rolling dice. Yeah, you it's got, frustrating. You, yeah, you got seven of these <laughs> dice uh, and they have yeah. faces on yeah. it. And, you know, whatever happened with the faces, yeah. you know, you, you have to... Uh, you got to resolve it resolve it so yeah. you know like the face
races are like a dagger where you don't get want three. That. You know, you roll and if you get three daggers, you got your, your turn ends. I don't want that. You have a fate, you know, the fickle face of fate yeah, where, yeah. you know, you can get like, you can get some fate tokens, yeah, you know, from that might like, help you a little bit. bit. Yeah. You know, and then also you get a messenger, you know, a messenger yes. dice. The messenger makes you give these dice, you know, the dice to different, you know, players. And let them roll. Let them roll it. And then they may get something good they and might you don't get, get it. They get something good, you know, like if they get the crown here, which, you know, you get three crowns, you get a little, uh, you know, claim token. Because yeah. you got to get, you know, three claim tokens to win. To win. And it's hard. <laughs> it but, is. you know, if they get this little uh, crown here, they can fight for it, you know. so Yeah, it's, and that's frustrating, it's especially crazy. if you're the one that gave them the die to roll. Yes. And, now and if, they take your crown. Yeah, but if they get a fate <laughs> token, I mean, if they get a fate face, they got to give back to you. I know. You got to give back you to you. You don't want skulls. No. You don't want no skulls. <laughs> so it's all about just rolling those dice. Yes. You know, and a lot of so people love... So you get love, the little crown right here. Get the, the crown. crown. Little crown. But a lot of people love dice games because yes. even though, yeah, there's the randomness of it, you can't really control the dice. No. But if you like playing that, you know, luck and pushing your luck and pressing your luck, you're going to like a dice you're game. You're going to like this game. You'll like you it. You know, it's like it's two to six. It's just dice and a just couple of, uh, of tokens. <laughs> I mean, you can take this anywhere. Anywhere. You can take it anywhere. anywhere. And they have a second one that's part two yeah. called Dice of Pirates. That's right. Yeah, so that's, you know, <laughs> so that's going to be really fun. Dice that's, that's really games. Fun. So Dice games. Now, the next one on our list, we've talked about it before. Yes. But I still love it. Yes. Now, this one is dice, but there are also some cards involved as well. Yeah. And it's Mountain Goats Mountain from Goat. All Play. It's small, too, y'all. <laughs> it's small. Yes. And it's a two to four player game. Yes. It's got the cutest little goat tokens. Yes. And it got a cute little green goats because yes. I love green. And I had to get the expansion from <laughs> yes. All Play. Thank you, All Play, because it was green. I needed it was my green gr goats. She needed her green goats. So yes. those green. Green replace whatever we're playing so she can have her you know green what? I just, goat. I just think that that was a misstep. In that was there. a misstep. It was a misstep when they How made How is that a misstep? That was a misstep on all plays part. You oh. always put green. You always? Green. So you always. Green has to be involved. Okay. <laughs> but right. I love the but green goats. But she got goats. a green for mountain goats. I got yes. my green goats. And with, with the mountain goats, you've got these cards that yes. you're going to put out on your table. Yes. And make your board. Yes. So you've got from five to ten. Mm -hmm. And each card, there's different numbers of cards that are under there. And your goats are at the bottom. And so you got to work your way up to the top. And when you get to the top, there's a little token there that's the points, your reward points. That's the same. As, as the, the number as the number that you just went up and yes. the thing is you got four dice yes four is it four it's dice it's four dice it's four dice yes. so you roll those four dice and you have to make uh, combinations to go up either from five to ten yes so if you have a chance to get you know like you know ten you go up that ten mm -hmm. and try to get up to the top to get those ten uh, you know ten points yeah so you just you try to group you make your grouping sometimes you have to use all your dice to make a number yeah or sometimes you just yeah. have you know if you got a five you can get up to, you know mm -hmm. get up real quick on that five so it's I mean at times yeah. you can move three goats yeah sometimes you're moving two goats two and goats. sometimes you're moving one goat yeah. but what I do love about it is that if you roll dice with more than one pip on it so yes. you've got three dice with three one pips you can change two of those to the number of your choice. Yes, you gotta leave one you gotta as keep a one. one. Yes. Because I, I think they realize if you have out of four dice, if three of them have a one pip on it, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be able to move too much. You're not you gonna know? be able to move nothing. You know, especially if yeah. you got you know three ones and then another one has a two or something. So that way you can change it. You kind of mitigate your dice so you can get up the uh, hill. But what I love about it is once you get to the top of the hill, you can stay as long as you yes, can. If nobody knocks if you nobody down. Nobody knocks you down. It's king of the hill, baby. You stay yes. there. Yes. And then as long as you roll that number, you keep getting tokens. And tokens. Yes, I know that and, by and, experience. And, and yes. Mick, with the last game we played oh, recently. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, Mick, he, he didn't like it because I kept rolling 10s. It was hard. She, no, no. You <laughs> rolled a 10 and a 9, and it's hard to do that. She got a 10 and a 9, and then she got everything else, and she was just, she was just, I was like, what is going on? I mean, at one point, I had goats on all the top of the mountain except, except for, for one. one. That was me. <laughs> And that was so much fun. That was not, that and he was, not, was fun. not happy. I was, not, was not happy, happy. family. <laughs> I was like, what is this? The fates of the dice are not with me. Yes, but they, they were with, with me. me and I They're enjoyed with you. It, and I won that game. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I, I won you that need one. to get some. You need to uh, get some uh, lottery tickets. 
I need something. You need some lottery But tickets. I was rolling those you dice. rolling them. And the numbers were just coming up in and my face. And what you mean, a hundred and something to a little bit? <laughs> I, I don't remember the number. It was just, it was horrible, a, a family. A win is a win, sweetheart. Uh, there we go. <laughs> A win is a win. I don't win. care if it was one point yeah. or 50 points. A win but, is a win. But Mountain Ghost is really fun. Now, if you get the yeah. expansion, it got some other stuff going on in yeah. there. So you can definitely like the expansion. Yeah. But now, what I love about this, this is something you can really introduce to newcomers. Yes, you to can. To the hobby because there's no real... Uh, you know, skill or thing you have to learn other than yes. roll the dice yes. and move your goat. And it's it's really fun, especially when your goat is at the top and people want to knock you down. That gives you that interaction with other players. Yes. And it's a fun game. It's, it's a real fun game for, you know, a family. You know, yes. even though it goes two to four, you yeah. get the expansion, it goes two to five. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really good for a family. It you is. know, I wish it was more yes. folks because this could be a great party game. It is a good game. Yeah, it's a for, good well, party for, game. You know, but, you know, people, yeah, four to five people. Yeah, four to five people. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, uh, if, but it's a real fun fast moving game fast moving uh, it gets you frustrated because it is <laughs> dice rolls now dice that's lucky rolling. lucky lucky yeah. but you know it's, it's entertaining it is it's entertaining. entertaining Yeah. so that's one you should know yes and the last one on our list which Ooh. was the inspiration for what I'm wearing and that's called Spots Spots yes it's <laughs> another little, a little game here yeah. little Spots yes now yes. Spots is from CMYK Games yes it's a one to four player game and you've got these cute little dogs I guess they're Dalmatian because yes. they have spots on them. Well, they're not Dalmatians. They're just dogs with spots. spots. They're different kind of dogs. Yeah, they're little spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> different kind of dogs with spots. And so it's another dice rolling game where you're going to fulfill spots that are on your particular dogs. Yeah. So the dogs may have a lot of different spots, but some of those spots are, are uh, designated for dice. Yeah, and this dog is what? This is Luis. <laughs> this is Luis. You know, you got the dogs and they got their you know, names on them yeah. and you got to put the dice on there. Different, yeah. different spots are designated for dice. And again, you're rolling, trying to fulfill those dice yeah. on the dogs. And every time you fulfill that dice on the dogs, you can, on your next turn, go ahead score. and score that card. But the unique thing, is, yeah. is that you have six like uh like tiles yeah those are tricks yeah those are tricks and and each trick on those tiles tell you what to do yes. you know how how to try how to many get dice you know, how many roll. dice are you know what is that the uh what, what are these the, the treats the treats yeah. you know you can also because treats let you re-roll that you and, need treats yeah, you need treats <laughs> but you know they always tell you like get eight dice and you know if uh, out of the eight dice you know if it's a number that you pick you can get all the dice of that number, then you discard the rest. Yeah. So each trick, each trick those, has different instructions, different instructions, and that's how you play the yeah. game. And you only have six of them that you can do, you know, on, you know, if you do just the regular yes. basic. But I'm gonna tell you, family, they have a ton of different <laughs> tricks in there. Use them all. There is a variant <laughs> yeah. where you use all the tricks. Yeah. Do it. It is so much fun. And that, yeah, that so gives the game that, you know, replayability because it yes. has so much variety in it. You never know which trick's going to come up. Yes. But one thing about it is when you're fulfilling your, your dice on your dogs, you have a yard too. You have a little yard oh, card yeah, little yard. where you put your other dice that you don't use. Yes, that's, and it yeah. has to be seven or less. If you go seven or over, you bust. If you go over yeah, seven, if you, can't, you bust. If you, if you roll your dice or whatever trick yeah. you're doing and you if you can't uh, fulfill the dice on the on the dog on the dogs, cards. You have to put them in the yard. You gotta put them in the yard. <laughs> and if you go over seven in that yard, if you can't place yeah. them on those dogs, and you go into that yard and you're over seven, that's bust time, baby. And you lose and you gotta all give, you your dice. All your dice, all that stuff you've been working for, <laughs> you lose Goes it away. all. Mm. Goes away, so now, you have to know. Yeah, yeah, but you get six. You got to go up to six. Uh, you score six times, right? Just six. Yes, dogs. you have. You, uh, yeah. The first person to score six dogs that brings the game to an end. Yes. But the thing about it is, you don't want to bust because you, if you got three dogs yeah. out there, here's a little place where you bury and, and, your and stuff. you've got all these dice on there. You haven't fulfilled them, and then you bust. You lose all of that work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So spots is such a fun game. It's it another is a fun one game. of those. Family friendly games. Yes. Now, how many does this, this take? I think it's one to four. One to four. Just one to four. Too? Yeah, one to four. Yeah, yeah, one and, to four. And, and it's such a family friendly game. Easy again. Yes, it is. You just got to roll learn. the dice. Yes. Now, this has a little more difficulty than Mountain Goats because of the tricks yes. and the way uh, you have to do different things based on the tricks. But other than that, it's just rolling dice and fulfilling those on your dog cards. And just and you know, like you have six tricks and you go back and forth, yeah. and then when uh, when five of the tricks are done. You leave that one trick alone. You put a treat on there. Yes. Then you you kind of turn everything back and yes. you go again. Yeah, you get and you yeah. get new tricks. Yeah, because you really yeah. only do like five. Yeah, and then you're stopping. Yeah, so but that's that's pretty. Those cool. are our three dice games. Yes, 
You should know. You should know. Yeah, all three. And they small, <laughs> y'all. They small. Look at that. They small. See? Yes. So, next we're going to have another one of our awesome sponsors. Yes. Cephala Fair Games. Yes, here we go. Cephala Fair Games is on a quest to make super amazing games that minimize randomness and reward player savvy. Their big claim to fame is their legacy style dungeon crawler, Gloomhaven, and other games in the universe, such as Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, Founders of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles, and their latest entry into the world, Frosthaven, which is an even bigger adventure. Cephala Fair Games has expanded into new and exciting spaces, such as comics, video games, and audio. Bring the fantasy to life with Cephala Fair Games. Uh, this is Stacy, aka Strin808 from Hawaii, and thank you so much for taking my question. I hear a lot of people like to spend all day outdoors, like at the beach or camping. So I'm curious if there's any portable, lightweight games you can recommend that you think will do well outdoors. Not too many cards or light components that would fly away. Um, I look forward to hearing your answer and what you guys have planned for 2024. Thanks again. That was such a great question yes. from Stacy Trent. Yes. A longtime viewer. Long time. And longtime OFPG yes. family member. Yes. You remember she <laughs> sent us some treats from she Hawaii? Did, and they were yes, awesome. Yes, they were awesome. They were great. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And you know, that question is just apropos for this episode. Yes. She wants to know about, you know, portable, lightweight games that you can play outside. And the only thing we could think about were dice games. Because you made us think, Stacy. You did. You made us think. We're like, wait a minute. No, we can't do that. Got too many cards. Yeah. No, got, no, it's can't got do tiles, that. It's got tiles. Got tiles. No, so, can't do so that. So we came with dice games. Dice games. Just solid dice games. Yes. That, that's it. No cards. And if they do have tokens or something in yeah. there, they got a little heavy too, so mm. they won't blow off. They won't blow. And we thought about, you know, one was Dice of Crowns that's that we just, just talked, talked about. about. <laughs> and it's nothing but dice. Straight dice. And, and a little some tokens, mm -hmm. but they all cannot blow Away. I don't think they'll blow away unless it's a really heavy one. Unless you're in a snowstorm, like <laughs> or, we just got through. a windstorm. A windstorm, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that, you also mentioned Dice, dice of, of Pirates. Pirates. Yes. Another all dice game. Yeah, it's kind of like a 2.0 of Dice of Crowns. Mm -hmm. And what the cool thing about it, if you have Dice of Crowns, you can put Dice of Crowns and Dice of Pirates together to make a, a crazy game. bigger game. So yeah. yeah. And they all got just tokens mm -hmm. and, you know, and dice. and dice. And that's all you need. And you can yeah. take, and you saw how small it was family <laughs> pack it easily. take that anywhere mm -hmm. take that anywhere and then the last one on our list to suggest is martian dice yes we just played that yes. not too long ago and that's from tmg yeah now the other two are from thing 12 but martian dice is from tmg and it's another all dice game yes You're now just rolling dice now i'm gonna tell you family it might be a little hard to try to find it because you know tmg <laughs> is out of business yeah, now yeah. so you might it might be a little challenge to find it but you might can find it you on the secondary market yes. but also there's zombie dice zombie also dice as well. that's been around a lot so you can probably so, play that so i guess too. the takeaway from this is Dice game. Dice game. No cards. No, no cards, tiles. No nothing. No nothing. Just dice. Just <laughs> dice. It's all just dice. Cause you know a Martian dice. You get it says you know the player count is two to ninety nine. <laughs> Which is crazy. Two to nine and nine. But I mean, I understand that because you're not holding dice no. or anything. You're just taking those dice you and the next player rolls you, a dice. Yeah, and you're just rolling so, yeah. and trying to, you know, figure trying out what's going on. Trying to keep the yeah. marshals from taking you. Yes. <laughs> yes, and you, you're working on it right then and there. Just writing down right the score. Yeah, so yeah. I love, you know, just this, this <laughs> dice game. So, like, if you go camping, yes. are you outside, you know, Easy at a picnic, carry. you know, yeah. just have yeah. a good steady <laughs> board, a little steady board, and just throw some dice. Nice little table you can put everything on there. Yes. You're good to go. Or like a dice tray. Or a dice tray. Yeah, you're good to go. Yeah. So, Stacy, thank you so much for that Stacey, question. Stacy, we love you. <laughs> Aloha. And thank you so much for sending that in. Now, if you have a question for Ask OFPG, yes. send in your video. Come on. 
we Send need that. We'd love to have you on the show, and we get a chance to talk to you on the show, and you get a chance to be on the show. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, what we have planned, she also said, what do we have planned That's for 2024? We, have? we have some live shows, family. Yeah. Live shows on here, right here. As a matter of fact, our first live show mm -hmm. is next week. Yes, next week. Next week, we're going to do yes. a live show, so you can You heard that, your, family. You <laughs> heard set it. your clock. Uh, we'll have it out there where you can you know, join in live. Ask your questions live. Discuss things with us live. We have never done no. a live show no, from our not. home studio talking to you directly. And but we're, we're gonna so do excited. It. We ain't scared. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't scared. We're going to do it. We're and then also, we're just going to do a lot more of the same. Yeah. We're going to have our quarterly game nights here in Omaha. Yes. We're going to try to attend as many conventions as we possibly can, can. so that we can yeah. get out there and meet you guys face to face and yes. play games with you. And I don't know what else is on the horizon. As it comes up, we'll share it with you. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yeah. So next so up, next we're going to talk about OFPG Voices. Yes. Their latest episode is still out, and it was Woodland creature themed games yes. we had some great contributors on that um, and hope you guys will go check it out mm -hmm. now the next episode for OFPG Voices is coming out on January 24th yes. check that one out that's going to be nature themed games we have another guest contributor for yes. OFPG Voices yes. his name is Navy Montel you need to check out what he has to say yes. he's Good got stuff. a great message Good for stuff. all of us and we've got some great contributors on that episode as well so do not miss it do not yes and so next for OFPG G is our game night right here in Omaha, mm -hmm. and that is going to be February 24th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yes. at the Highlander Accelerator. Yes. And we're going to have food there. Big Mama's Restaurant will be open, and Dina's Place will be open, mm -hmm. and Best Burger will be open. So if you're hungry, come out a little early come and out. eat. Or come out and eat whenever you get there. Yes. Uh, food will be open all night, mm -hmm. and we're going to play some games and have some fun. You know we're going to have a games giveaway. And we're also going to have a D&D &D demo also. That's right. That Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> come do a little role playing. Yes. Come on. Come yes. on. So be sure to to come out and see us and uh, we want to also remind you again that if you haven't done your surveys please do so we're come cutting on. them off so go ahead and get your survey done from the Kickstarter campaign yes now last thing I wanted to say before mm. we get into our wrap up because you know we have to wrap all this up yes we want to say we apologize because last week we made a few mistakes on our episode of people we met and we miss people yeah. and then the first thing you want to do is apologize to Abby uh, she's the wife of Phantom Meeple Joe, Joe. Yeah. and we kept calling her her, we, well, we're going back and forth between Abby and Addie. Yes, we were. Her name is Abby. Abby. So, the Baker Meeple. Yeah. So we made that mistake and we want to apologize to you yes, personally love for doing love that. Yeah. You know, sometimes we're doing things yeah. and we just kind of get things mixed up. Sorry about that. Yes. And then and we also... Because they are now contributors. They are contributors to, our, to voices. voices. That's right. Yes. We want to make sure we get that right. got to get that right. <laughs> yeah. So, and then also, too, we miss saying personal, say, uh, saying hello to people that we met. Yes. And they came a long way just to see us. Yes. And, and the first ones that we missed, Lori and Daryl Larkins. Mm -hmm. The uh, Larkins. The Larkins. Yes. They came uh, to OrcaCon for us. And we talked to them, and they were so happy to meet us, yes. and we were happy to meet them. And I just want to say a personal shout out. Thank you guys for coming to OrcaCon. Yes. It was really nice meeting you. Keep watching the show, and we hope to see you guys again. And thanks again for taking the time out of your day mm -hmm. to come see us. Yes. And then another family came just to see us, and it was a mother, and it was Esther, Zoe, no, Esther, Zach, and Nora. Yes. Now, Esther came, and I was looking at some games in the library. She walked up. She said, oh, you know, this I family plays games. I said, yeah. She said, we came just to see you guys. Yes, they did. And I was wearing my uh, rainbow logo shirt, mm -hmm. and her kids We're had the, the, same, the thing. same shirt on. <laughs> so cute. Yes. I took pictures with them. So cute. And then they came to our show, and then I had the little one. Uh, Zach came up, and he pulled numbers for our raffle wonderful family and i want to say the same thing to you guys thank you so much mm -hmm. for taking time out of your business love y'all love y'all to come see us and i appreciate that so much we, and we just had to we do, do a personal shout out now everybody else who was there that we met and we played games with we thank you guys as well we really do mm -hmm. and just thank you so much for the support and the love you've shown us and we just appreciate everybody. Yes, we do. Yes, so we love y'all. Yeah, just when we say it, we really, <laughs> we really mean, mean it. it. 
And we just yes. look so forward to seeing you. And if you're there and you see us, do not be afraid. Don't run away. To walk up and say, hi, Don't run away. I watch yes. your show or hi. You know, We love it and we love saying hi back to you guys. Yes. And if we have the time, we will play a game. Yes. A lot of times we're at these conventions, we've got so much on our schedule. But when we have time, we want to play with you. Because we hear so many people say, oh, I saw you, but you're busy. I didn't yeah. want to say nothing. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Don't do that. Do yeah. not do that. Yeah. No. And also, too, I forgot to say we met Estefania. Yes. And Estefania is such a sweetheart. She yes, walked she up to us as well. She saw us. Oh, we were in the lobby yes. of the hotel. And she was like, oh, it's you guys. So we got a chance to meet Estefania. So I hope I didn't miss anybody else. No. Yeah, I think I got everybody. Probably, yeah, but, but charge our, what does it say? Charge it to you. Char charge to our head and not our hearts. Yes. Because we love you. We and love y'all. we missed your names, we really, really apologize. Yes. But thank you guys so much for coming up, saying hello and all that. Yes, thank you so much. Now, Starla, Starla, <laughs> where can they find OFPG out? here in the social media and also still blizzard time where we ain't gonna find us well if you're looking for our family plays game yes you can find us on facebook uh -huh. instagram yes twitter yep right here on youtube right here on our website and tiktok 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 yeah now if you're in omaha nebraska that's local family you can find us on cox channel 22 yes saturdays at 8 30 p.m uh -huh. and tuesdays at 4 30 p.m oh yeah family come on out thank you so much for coming out and checking us out talking to us we love visiting with you every week yes yes yes, yes. and also don't forget our what do we get shows that come out too so you yes. can see all the stuff that we get that publishers send in and i get sometimes that that you go by. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah. We so come you. on through and see that. <laughs> but if you have any questions or co comments or anything like that, definitely put it down below because we love talking to you. But there's one thing, family, one thing we want you to always know, and we mean it, we love you. Bye, Bye now. Everybody.